Hello, my beautiful Pisces dragons. Welcome to your reading for the full moon slash eclipse. So the eclipse sort of eclipses the full moon energy. So with this, okay, so a few things. Eclipses usually bring in chaos. The eclipse is happening when the moon is in Taurus. So it's going to be creating positive chaos. So they do evoke drastic and unexpected changes. Okay, guys. Now this is eclipses also um, amplify the north and south nodes. The north node, which is the direction we're trying to get to, is going to be four degrees from Gemini, which is going to be speeding us. It's like shooting us into our destiny. Okay, so expect fast and unexpected changes. So this is like positive fate. Okay, what we would call fate. So please give me two cards for Pisces. Overall energy, please. No, that's not two cards. <laughs> I like to do that sometimes. Hmm? Okay, Pisces. Let's go. Two cards for Pisces. Please do like and subscribe to the channel, right? I am doing bonuses soon. So, and I don't have time to do all of them, and I base them off of the views and the likes for the Pisces videos for all of November. So go back and catch those. Remember, we do try to read for specific timelines, but these are just general readings, guys, okay? So I do appreciate your support. Okay, two more shuffles, because this is crazy. Oh, look at that. As soon as I said two, two flew out. There we go. I do appreciate your support, guys. The answers you need are coming, and your hard work is paying off. Now, here's interesting, okay? So Gemini's come out, and then New Moon and Capricorn. This is interesting with the, the full moon in Gemini, because even though the full moon's in Taurus, the node is Gemini. So there is that element. So Pisces, you're looking for some answers. You're searching. Um, and let's see where this takes you. Okay, so let's go ahead and get some cards, please, for past, for Pisces. Wow. You're moving on from something. You have been moving on from something, so I'm going to take that one. Okay. So let's see here. Your heart chakra. Oh, guys. Your heart chakra, conflict and defeat. You felt like you've been kicked down and defeated mentally just in every way. Like this, I'm going to get teary-eyed. A second, give me a second, guys, because I'm actually I'm actually crying here a little bit. So just a second. Um just sort of hit me. Um you have 17, which is the star. Okay, so this is a come after the storm. I feel that you um yeah, this affected you, your material and spiritual, um, in every way. So I think it really kicked you. It kicked kick the crap out of you. Okay. Um, and, but I think you, you have moved away from it. Okay. Um, because this is the calm after the storm. And I think that even though it did affect you in every single way you are, um, you are starting to move into material and spiritual prosperity. You're starting to move into, um, success, right? And I feel like you still have some questions. It's like, you know, but why? What was that? Like, what, what's going on with it? You know, or, or even things were, I've healed, excuse me, I've healed from this. Why is this still coming back? Why? What does this have to do with me? Right? One more, and I'm going to take the top cards. Okay, so let's see here. Well, guys, I got to tell you, um, I think you're going to be getting over this emotional loss. You have some sort of passion that's going to ignite in you. I feel like it's something that you thought that you might never feel again right? Financial and material changes. So I feel like everything all around is going to be coming together. 
and you've been moving to come in together with yourself but this is going to be bringing in something and I think that you're going to be getting over this pattern right this emotional loss that you had back here you're going to be moving beyond it because this is sort of at the bottom and so I see this as like you know your hard work is paying off because you're going to be getting over this right you're going to be ending this cycle okay uh, three shuffles top is moving ahead and the bottom of the deck <laughs> Three, okay. Huh, okay. And then let me get the bottom ones, two, three, and four. Okay, so Pisces, I, I feel like you really, really wanna bring love into your life. You have been suffering quite a bit. You have been suffering in some way in silence, right? You you're might be bored. The suffering that you've been going through might be keeping you away from, you might be thinking it's keeping you away from everything, but then you have um, temperance coming out, okay? So it's about learning how to be patient and just letting things blend. I think that, um, yeah, you just don't have these answers, and I think that that's really holding you back. You want this to happen. I think as soon as you start to get into something that sort of might excite you, you might be thrown back into the situation. Because there is a calm after the storm, but there is no real, um, yeah. This is, guys, so this is what, this is your underlying energy, okay? So you have the third eye. I feel like you're really going inward. You're meditating. You're really trying to positively control your mind. Okay, this is Pisces, right? Third eye, this is totally you guys, okay? Full out. Material harvest. I feel that you've been focusing a lot on, on the material, the financial, those things, but you really, really, really want to bring spiritual union in, right? And I think as soon as you recognize that you actually do want a proper love union, that you are going to create this positive movement forward. You get stuck, okay, um, with this emotional loss. As soon as something starts, you, you get sent back, and it's stuck. So, and that's what this is, is love begins. It's like, woohoo, right? Then you go back into silence. You go into discontent and boredom. And, you know, and, and it's because you're not healed yet. This whole patience thing is because you aren't healed. Okay, you need to continue to heal and say, I want a relationship. I want to be spiritually connected to somebody. Okay, and I'm going to bring them in, but I need to do that with myself. Okay, because this, and, and this is the thing, guys, I feel like you've sort of been protected and held back from things so that, um, you know, so that you can do the hard work because the answers are coming and your hard work is paying off you will be getting answers. You will be getting positive movement forward. You feel like you've been sort of in this backward motion, forward motion, backward motion, forward motion, maybe even for years now, okay, with the situation, okay? So I just want um, three overall energy cards, please. Like just, just to clear this up, can we just close this reading out with three cards, please? Because this is a pretty, um, yeah, triumph. You're going to be victorious. Okay, you're going to move ahead fast. Victory is assured. You're going to be completely happy. Okay, so you just need to listen to this. Can I get two more cards, please? Two. Three. Okay. partnerships and alliances, okay, and intuition. You guys know that this is going to happen, and you know it's going to happen fast, and you actually know that all of this is going to be coming in, okay? I can't tell you what, because the whole eclipse is about unexpected change, so this is why it still seems vague. Even though it's specific, it's vague, but you guys know, okay? You, you know what you need to do. Look at this. We have so many 
things coming together and meditating, 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 right? So it's, um, it's about you moving into this, this, you know, eyes closed, eyes closed, right? Like just like keep embodying this beautiful side of your third eye, right? Go and embody your, your mindfulness and your meditations and allow that to move you forward, okay? This will bring you into your positive alliances, okay? So stay focused, okay? You are gonna get positive movement forward, okay, Pisces? Please like and subscribe, and I will see you in your next reading. Thank you so much for your support. Thanks, guys.